in this project will show you how to use Ninja Flex and Conductive Filament to make a sci-fi inspired wearable. This integrated circuit is semi-flexible and uses a coin cell battery to power five very bright LED sequins. To start this project, we'll use a pencil to draw our hand on paper, and then we can use the outline from our sketch to create a CAD model. We'll need to convert the sketch into a vector path and extrude them to create our base. When designing traces in parallel, you want to keep the ground and power separated. We made a battery holder for the coin cell battery so that it has a press fit, and the spots on the fingertips are actually sized to fit the solder pads of the LED sequins. So the parts that make up the traces are going to be printed in conductive filament, and the hand base will be printed in Ninja Flex. We of course have to subtract the parts from each other so that they can generate a proper toolpath for dual extrusion. Conductive filament for protopositive bonds really well to Ninja Flex, and it actually doesn't need a heated bed, and it's going to stick to most build plates. For this project, we use the Flash Forge Creator Pro. When printing with Ninja Flex, you'll want to set the print speed at 45 millimeters a second. That way we get good layer adhesion. This took about three hours to print, and when it's done, you'll have a flexible piece with embedded conductive traces. Next, we'll need to print flexible straps to hold each finger. You can measure our fingers and edit our source files to make a custom fit, so be sure to check out our guide on the AD for Learning system for more details. The coin cell fits into the battery holder with the positive side down. To ensure our traces are working, we can test each finger using an LED. We can connect the battery's ground by bridging the top of the traces with a piece of copper tape. If everything works, we can use bare conductive paint to secure the LED sequins to the fingertips. This actually adheres pretty well to Ninja Flex and it helps pass those electrons from the conductive filament to the LEDs. And if you look carefully, you can actually see the LEDs get brighter as the paint dries. You only need a small amount to keep the LEDs in place, and you'll want to let the connections dry for about 15 minutes. Use a piece of wire and copper foil to make a stronger connection to the ground. Now we can attach all the finger straps by inserting the tabs through the slits. You'll want to flex each finger to test connectivity, and if any LEDs start to look dim, you can always add more bare conductive paint. You'll want to make sure the straps are all comfortable and do a final flex test. The conductive filament is semi-flexible, but it can break if it's completely bent backwards, so be sure to flex in moderation. So what integrated wearable circuits would you make? You can let us know in the comments, and if you're looking to build your own conductive wearables, do check out the parts and materials on the Adafruit shop. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and be sure to like this video, and don't forget to subscribe for more 3D printing projects from Adafruit. See you guys next week.